Hola amigos, welcome back to my YouTube channels. Lección de Español 6.1 Los Bebos Spanish Lesson 6.1 The Words in Spanish Forman los Dimiat Dongchi In today's videos, I will show you the words in Spanish, Los Bebos and Español, and a way to conjugate them with different pronouns. There are two main groups of words in Spanish. Regular verb, los bebos regulares. Irregular verbs, los bebos irregulares. And I will show you how to conjugate the word with different pronouns. In this lesson, we will only concentrate on the regular verb in person tense. Because in Spanish, when you conjugate a verb to different tenses of the sentence, it has different words for that. So, it's very difficult for foreigners to learn Spanish work. So, in this lesson, we will concentrate only on the person tense. As usual, my videos of tutorial will have English and Cantonese version. This one will be in English version. Please watch another video for the Cantonese version. And my name is Leighton, Li Cheng, Thomas in Spanish, and Tom. This is my email address. Chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk The YouTube playlist of all my YouTube is in this link. You can click on this link and enjoy other tutorial videos. In here, I will show you the word ending. Any Spanish words are ending either with AR, ER, or IR, no matter if it is regular or irregular. For example, for example, abra to spit, gomer, to eat, vivir, to live, estar, to be, buscar, to search, beber, to drink. And any words is ending with ar, er, or ir. Now let's start with the word abra, to talk. And you can see in here I have a table for the word to talk, abra, and the letters H A B L is called the stem of this word, and the A L is the ending of this word. For example, you conjugate the word abra with jaw. You have to jaw the A L and then add an O to the stem of it. So if you conjugate the word abra with jaw, you have to say jaw abo, not jaw abra. Abba is the infinite form of the word. The ending AR will drop and add O, AS, A, Amos, Ais, and An, depend on the pronoun that you conjugate with. Let's do some example with only the present tense. Because in Spanish word, the present tense, the past tense, and the past imperfect tense, conditional tense, and the future tense, the conjugation will be different, so you have a lot to remember when you conjugate the word with different pronouns. In here, I only concentrate on the person tense, make it more easy for you to study. Let me convert the foreign sentence into Spanish. If I want to write I speak English, we will work together to convert this sentence into Spanish. I speak English, so Yo abo, yo abo, ingres. Yo abo, ingres. I speak English. And you see here, I have dropped the AR ending and add an O to the stem of the word to form abos, ingres. And you also see that in ingres, in English, we have make its capital for the first letter for any language. But in Spanish, for language, we don't use capital letter in the first letter. So you see ingress. This letter is in small letter, not in the capital letters. And now you have to draw abo ingress. This draw can be omit as well. And finally, you got the sentence abro ingress. That means I speak English because the word itself has represent jaw in the first place. 
so you can omit the jaws as well. Another sentence: Do you speak Chinese? In English, we use the verb "do" to ask a question, but in Spanish, we don't use the verb "do" to ask the question. We just put the word before the pronoun and to form the Spanish interrogative sentence. You here have two form: the "do" form. Do is an informal form. Do mean you when you speak with a friends or you speak with some children who is younger than you, and the formal form is would there. When you speak to some older person, you respect the person, or you just meet the person in the first time, you formally talk to this person. You use would there, not do. So in here, the sentence "Do you speak Spanish?" can be converted into Spanish in two form. Informal form and the formal form. In the informal form, you have to put a question mark like this before a interrogative sentence. Do you speak English? You Chinese abra do English. Put a question mark here. Abra do English, and also the do can be omit, so the sentence will be. A brass ingress. Do you speak English? A brass ingress. And in the formal way, you type in a brass ingress. This is the two form of do you speak English? The informal form a brass ingress, and the formal form a brass ingress. You drop the、um, a r and then x a s at the end. You drop the a r and then add a at the end. Abras ingress, abra ingress. And the first sentence, she speaks Chinese very well. The sentence will be changed to Asia. Abra chino, muy bien. Very good is muy bien. Ajas, Aba, Chinos, Muy Bien. She speak Chinese very well. You drop the a out and then act a at the end, just like the formal form of you, and the aja can be omit. So the final answer will be Aba, Chinos, Muy Bien. The next example is we speak French in class. We, I use nosotros. Speech, abamos. French, Frances. In class, en clase. So the sentence will be nosotros abamos Frances en clase. You can change the pronouns nosotros and leave it to abamos Frances en clase. We speak French in class. And now we form a negative sentence. They don't speak English. I put no, Abraham. They don't speak English. No, Abraham. English. Of course, you may put no Abraham angels in this, but you don't need the angels because the pronouns can be omit. So the answer will be no Abraham. Ingress, and finally the U in plural form, because in English U's can be singular or plural, but in Spanish U's in singular and in U's in plural is different. So when it's U's in plural, I have to put two form, bosojos or ustedes. In here, the informal form is the bosojos. So you put bosojos. Abais, español, muy bien. Vosotros abais español muy bien. You puro speak Spanish well, and in the formal form you use ustedes. Aban. When you use ustedes, you have to change it to aban. Español. Muy bien. Okay. After this exercise, you know the word in Spanish "eden" in "al" 
we will drop eight hours and then ask all us, ah, amos, ais, and an at the end to conjugate it with different pronouns. Jo, do, e, ella, usted, nosotros, vosotros, ellos, ellas, and ustedes. This is the exercise with the AR verb. If you are ready, we go to another exercise with the ending in IR. We use the word vivir to live to form a sentence. I do the first conversion for you. and the other conversion of the sentence, I will let it to you to do your homework. For example, I live in a small house. I live. You change it to vivos. It's the same thing. You drop the I out and then add an O. Vivos means I live in a small house. En la casa. En la casa pequeña. In the small house. Gaza is mean a house. La casa is mean a house. Pequeña is mean small. So I live in a house small. Just mean I live in a small houses. I live in a small house. Vivos. En la casa pequeñas. Of course, you can add the pronoun yo vivos. En la casa pequeñas. But in here, you know that I, we can omit the yo and only leave it to vivos en la casa. Are you living in Hong Kong? You can form by the informal do and the formal usted. She or he live in a nice space. You can form by the dropping the I out and adding the ye at the end of the word to conjugate with different pronouns. So do it yourself and try it out. I will give the answer to you in the next lesson. Another example is the gourmet. Gourmet is to eat. And this to eat is ending with ye out. The word is ending with ye out. We also drop the ye out and then add the O for the jaw, at the S, E S for the do, E for the air, Aja, and Uste. The same thing to forming the sentence. It's a little bit similar to the last two exercise. And in the next lesson, I will show you the answer and we'll come to another example with other irregular work. Thank you for your listening. Adio. Hasta luego. Bye bye. Jajen.